Hi, welcome to the Blender 2.67 tutorial. This tutorial will teach you about navigation. But before you load up Blender, you need to make sure your mouse is set properly. Otherwise, you're not going to have the proper functions. So normally it's set up like this. You want to make it a three button setup. And adjust these ones according to your preferences. Now we can start Blender, go down to the dock, and search for this orange icon. Version number pops up, and just click it and it'll go away. Okay, so first thing is the numpad. The numpad will switch views for you quickly. And just use the numbers to get the view that you want. When you start rendering, you want to use uh, the zero key, and that's the camera view. Otherwise, just stick with the orthographic or perspective views. Uh, you'll want to switch between orthographic or perspective at times to make it easier to select vertices, but we're not there yet. Another feature is on the numpad is using the plus or minus key. And that will zoom. However, you'll probably find it easier just to use the mouse wheel. And uh, if you hold the mouse wheel down, you will rotate about your object. And that's probably the easiest way to see what your object looks like. Of course, looking at a cube is not terribly interesting. If you hold the shift key down you will pan again it's not terribly useful with just a cube it'll be more useful to pan when you're dealing with bigger scenes and more objects you need to know how to create windows or additional windows just grab the triangle here and you can have another window. So I can view this cube from a slightly different angle. You can drag downwards as well as sideways and create more windows. You can size the windows by just getting that size icon up. You can remove windows. You can't remove windows by sizing. It just makes the window terribly small, but the window's still there. To remove the window, just drag the triangle back to its parent triangle, and it'll join the windows together. Finally, you need to know how to save files. You just go to the File menu, and just save. Remember to save to your home folder. And that's it for this quick tutorial on navigation. It's important to learn to navigate quickly. That way it'll, you'll have a better time editing your objects. That's it.